I'm here by uh, Tunbridge in Winchester. It needs to be repaired. And so I'm here to ask some of my colleagues as to why we've got to do that. And most importantly, why we need to close it for a few months while we do so. The existing bridge is 100 years old now. Uh, it's showing deterioration underneath, although not quite so bad on top. Um, and we've got concrete and steel reinforcement inside it, which is actually rusting, uh, which will reduce the capacity of the bridge and would otherwise lead to a closure. Motorised vehicles won't be able to get through. They will have to go up um, St Cross Road and also Bar End Road. But we are doing it in two halves, which will enable cyclists and pedestrians to still get through. And all the footpaths will be maintained and open. The car park will be open, so people that visit the Handlebar Cafe will still be able to do that. Um, and the closure won't be too far up the road there either. So people and residents will be able to get right up to the other businesses up there and also to their own properties while we're doing it. In terms of the structure itself, obviously as time goes on, the moisture gets to it. And that's yeah. what's happening, is it? The the, the metal's beginning to corrode and... Exactly, the, the water has got in probably through the top of the deck as well as underneath um, and then it's rusting the steel reinforcement that is in there and as soon as that starts to go it expands, the concrete falls off and we get a reduction in the, the loading capacity of the bridge really. So right. the, new, the new bridge we're designing is designed to current standards, obviously this one's 100 years old so it wouldn't have been designed for all the traffic that comes along here and, yeah. and the, the weight of the vehicles but the new one is to current Euro codes as they're called um, and it will allow the bridge to carry on for at least another 120 years. Great. And um, will it look like this? Or is it it will look improved? very similar. Um, we've been talking with Winchester City Council about the look of it. Um, we're actually going to go for brickwork parapets uh, with stone copings along the top, which will tie up a bit better with the other bridges that are along here, which are also brickwork um, on the sides. But underneath it's going to have eight new concrete beams, uh, which will support the new roadway. Um, and they will be lifted in with a big mobile crane that we'll have coming down here. Um, and then, yes, we will then cast the new concrete over the top of those. Great. And so we're giving people plenty of warning that this is happening. Yes. When does it start? How long does it last? It's starting in March. It's going to go on to about November. Okay. Um, there are some operations which will weather, are weather dependent, uh, one of them being the mobile crane. We obviously can't use cranes with there's high winds. Mm. So hopefully we won't get too many high winds and that crane will lift in the bridge beams. Um, and the other thing that is quite weather sensitive is actually what we call waterproofing. So once we put the concrete deck on, we have to spray a membrane over the top of it, um, but the deck has to be absolutely dry. So if it's like last summer, we'd be fine because we had a lot of sun. Um, we only need a few days of dry weather, but we can't put it on when it's wet. So there's, a, there's only the complication with that, really. Right. But the aim is to be out before Christmas, basically. And hence why we're doing it over the summer. Exactly, yes. And yeah. how much is it costing? 1.4 million. 1.4 million. Um, that does include moving the utilities. Um, we're also doing some other works while the road is actually closed. So we're doing some works for highway colleagues. We're going to be doing um, improvements to the drainage. Uh, and also we're renewing some fencing. Um, and also some of the surfacing on the footpaths as well, as well as the bridge. But we're taking the opportunity while we've got the road closed to pick up other things, which makes sense. Good idea to do so, other stuff as well. Exactly, yeah. yes. And it's complex because of all of the different utilities that run underneath. I mean, there's pretty much everything there. There's an there? awful Water, lot. There's some underneath. Um, there's BT. also a lot in the bridge itself. So right. they will all have to be taken out, supported, and then put back into the yeah. new bridge when we do it. So no interruption to service for those? No, no. Like they'll all be still be live, but they will have to be supported while we're doing the bridge works. You've heard from Brian as to why we need to do this work. As you can see, the bridge, 100 years old, needs to be improved. Uh, it needs to be brought up to spec so that it can take the kind of traffic that we do today. I'd like to say thanks to the team who have worked really hard to make sure that there's still access for people to walk and cycle across the bridge, to be able to access the pathways along the river. What we're going to end up with is almost a million and a half pounds of investment in a brand new bridge. It's going to look great and I'm looking forward to seeing the end result in the autumn.